In this section we consider the effect that turbulence has on a boundary layer. In a laminar boundary layer, the velocity profile looks like this, in which this profile can be calculated numerically, and it's known as the Blasius profile. When the boundary layer becomes turbulent, the rate of momentum transfer from the free stream greatly increases, therefore the free stream loses momentum more quickly, and the rate at which the boundary layer grows increases. So I've drawn here the boundary layer thickness as a function of x. In the turbulent boundary layer, the velocity profile looks like this. Entire book chapters and lecture courses are devoted to the study of this shape, but the main point to note is that the velocity gradient is very steep at the wall, meaning that the wall shear stress is very large, and it's worth pointing out that in this region the flow is laminar. This is known as the laminar sublayer, the very thin region right next to the wall. As well as increasing the rate of growth of the boundary layer thickness, this increase in momentum transfer has another very important consequence. In Chapter 4, we saw that the flow inside a boundary layer can reverse direction when there is a strong adverse pressure gradient, i.e. when the flow is moving from a region of low pressure to a region of high pressure. When this happens, the velocity profile in the boundary layer looks like this, the key point here being the flow reversal in this region. In this situation, there is a competition between momentum diffusing down from the free stream, which resists flow reversal, and the adverse pressure gradient, which encourages flow reversal. And the key point is that a turbulent boundary layer greatly increases the momentum diffusion from the free stream. So when a boundary layer becomes turbulent, it becomes more resistant to flow reversal. And this can be seen very clearly in experiments. The left image here is of a laminar boundary layer. The free stream flow is moving from left to right at speed v. And we can see that the flow separates here. So the flow has reversed in the boundary layer at all points downstream of the separation point. The picture on the right shows the same shape at a different speed. We can see here two things. First of all, the boundary layer separation occurs here. And secondly, by looking at the smoke in the image, we can see that the boundary layer is turbulent. And this turbulence is having a very strong effect on the boundary layer in that region because the extra momentum transfer caused by the turbulence in the boundary layer is sufficient to withstand the adverse pressure gradient and avoid flow reversal in that region. Therefore, a turbulent boundary layer can actually reduce the drag on a body, and this is why golf balls are dimpled. We will examine this further in Chapter 8.